So far this NHL season, Elias Pettersson is probably the most talked about player and rightfully so because he has been a phenomenon for the Vancouver Canucks this season and has really just been a bright spot and he's living up to the hype, he's living up to everything that anyone expected him to be coming into the season. But on Twitter today, I've seen a lot of people discussing, is Elias Pettersson a generational player? And that is what I'm going to be talking about in this video, telling you guys if I think Elias Pettersson is a generational player. Now, coming into the year, I didn't think so. I thought he would be more of a superstar kind of franchise player. You know, the generational guys are your Sidney Crosby, I give Genny Malkins in that conversation, Alex Ovechkin, obviously Connor McDavid. I think Austin Matthews can be thrown into there now if he keeps up the pace he's at and you know it's kind of early to tell if Elias Pettersson is going to be a generational player but honestly from what I've seen from him so far this year if he keeps this up I definitely think he will be because not many other people I have ever seen in the NHL play the game quite like Elias Pettersson and at such a young age just 20 years old he does put up a ridiculous amount of points so far but he is so responsible in his defensive zone and his plus minus shows that and he's not really playing for a good team as well so everything that Elias Pettersson has done this year is really just been impressive obviously it sucks that he went down and missed a couple of games with injury but he's back and he hasn't missed a beat because he's back to putting up ridiculous amounts of points I mean he has two five point games already this season just what more can you ask for from your rookie and for the Vancouver Canucks you really do have a special player and I definitely think he's going to be a special player for many more years now taking a look at Elias Pettersson's stats, he's 20 years old right now, drafted in the first round, 5th overall by the Canucks in 2017, and what a draft pick that was, 100% hands down, he would be the number 1 overall draft pick in the 2017 draft in my opinion, if there was a redraft, yes he didn't come in and play right away, it took him a year, but it was well worth the wait, Elias Pettersson is an unbelievable player, this year 27 games played, 16 goals and 16 assists for 32 points, and the most impressive stat to me is that plus 11 for a team that isn't very good you know they're in the bottom half of the league they've been playing pretty well as of late after you know they're on a pretty big skid there but plus 11 that is very very good especially for a rookie obviously like I said the team isn't doing very well at 14 16 and 3 but if they were to keep up the pace they were on to start the season I remember when they were in the top like five of the league about 15 games into the season and Elias Pettersson was a point per game I definitely think his name could have been thrown in there for Hart Trophy contention contention just because of how unbelievable he was playing and how well he was making the Vancouver Canucks play but yeah I don't think they're going to be a playoff team but most definitely Elias Patterson in my opinion you might as well give him the call to trophy already because I really can't see anybody catching him the only one even close in my opinion was Brady Kachuk and Brady Kachuk has kind of slowed down a little bit Miro Heiskanen has been good obviously Darlene has been pretty good but no one is on the level of Elias Patterson and he's most definitely the rookie of the year this season and I think as soon as next year we're going to hear Elias Patterson's name thrown around for the Art Ross and for the Hart Trophy just because that is the type of player this guy is. If I had to tell you who I think he reminds me of as a Red Wings fan, Pavel Datsuk but with a little bit better finish. The things he can do in tight areas where he just dangles like when I watch the Vancouver Canucks I keep a close eye on him and the things he does out there that just kind of go unnoticed are really unbelievable and obviously he has fantastic finish. He has an amazing shot, an underrated shot as you don't really think of Elias Patterson to be a pure sniper you know coming into the league more of a playmaker guy that you know just creates for everyone but he's been a pure sniper and a playmaker a power play weapon everything the Vancouver Canucks pretty much needed and everything they could have asked for Elias Pettersson is producing obviously with this new wave of talent with the Sedin twins retiring and they really are picking up right where they left off Brock Besser and Elias Pettersson together is really a thing of beauty to watch the things that these guys can do and I definitely think they're going to be a problem for a lot of teams in the Pacific Division for many more years to come and to answer the question is Elias Pettersson a generational talent really it is too early to tell but if I had to go out on a limb and just guess I would definitely say yes I think this is a guy who's going to give us multiple 100 point seasons you know carry the Canucks into the playoffs and it really is something special for Vancouver to have a guy of this caliber and they do have a lot of other good prospects as well and if they can get another top draft pick this year and maybe even get a guy like Jack Hughes this team is going to be a problem in the NHL for many more years to come.
So that is going to wrap up the video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to let me know down in the comments section. Do you think Elias Pedersen is a generational player? Do you think he's a franchise guy? And let me know your reasoning down in the comments section. And with that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content. And I will see you guys all in the next video.